time on Catfish in America. We're headed to the great state of Ohio near the city of Warren to fish Mosquito Creek Lake. Now this lake has been pointed out by DNR as, as having a real high probability of netting that state record flathead. Now this tournament that we're going to be fishing here today, my daughter Samantha and I, is going to be targeting channel cats primarily, but there's a side pot for the largest flathead. We're not going to do too much in the flathead department. We're going to focus on getting our six total fish, six channel cats, only two of which can be 28 inches or more. The other four have to be smaller, but a minimum of 16 inches. Should be a fun tournament. Mosquito Creek Lake has got a lot of fish, and it's also famous for, you guessed it, crappie fishing. So I guess having that great bait supply is, is really nice for the flatheads here, and maybe that's why they get so big. It's mid-September. Uh, we just had a massive, massive cold front come through. Yesterday it was in the 90s. Today it's 68 right now. So this, this tournament runs from 8 p.m. until 7 a.m. and it's hosted by the Northern Ohio Catfish Tournament Trail. Should be great. Jason Stanfield is the tournament director. He's going to be out here making sure everybody's operating by the rules. Six fish in the water after a live well check. Should be a great tournament. We're going to have a lot of fun and I get a little bit of that daddy daughter time. So we'll see you out here on the water and I'll clue you in on how we're going to be fishing for these channel cats here on Mosquito Creek Lake. At Northern Ohio Catfish Tournament Trail here, we, uh, we've got pretty basic rules. Six fish limit, two over 28 inches. We also do a side pot for big fish and flathead. Pretty good chance that you see some good flatheads brought in the morning. Well, in terms of the rig we're going to be using here today, I've got my American Spirit Pro Cat Series. This is a great, a great rod. Uh, I've been using it all this year. It's got the high biz uh, wraps, both both on the butt area and up here at the top. But this has a lot of flexibility. And the reason I like this rod is it's got the big backbone for big fish, but it has that sensitivity to let these circle hooks work. So if you take a look at this, we've got the nice camo wrap, foam, great grip. I'm using a line counter reel for this application. Uh, I've got a 5 aught Daiichi circle hook, and moving right up, we've got the stainless steel guides that are on this rod, great flexibility. And now let's talk about this rig. I have a snap swivel, big heavy duty snap swivel, hooked to a slinky sinker. This is that parachute cord with the small shotgun shell pellets on the inside. This adds up to about an ounce and a half. Then I've got a glass bead, I like red. Then I've got some surgical tubing, which keeps all this pressure off of the knot here on my barrel swivel. Large barrel swivel. Now my red cage and leader. This is 50 pound. And then a large cigar float. And this is gonna hold up the circle hook, hold it just up off the bottom. This is known as the San T. Cooper Drift Rig. And it works really great there. Since we're gonna be uh, fishing here on a lake today with low winds. I'm going to try to drift. I'm going to try to start off that way. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, my backup will be to vertical drift and I'll use a trolling motor for that. So I think that this uh, American Spirit Rod is going to do real well with this drifting technique. I think the rod flexibility helps it pull out of a lot of snags. Uh, I think this 40 pound big game is going to do the job for us here today. High this. So this is what it's going to take, I think, for us to catch any kind of fish here right after this cold front here on Mosquito Lake. Well, I want to tell you about our baits before it gets dark, because this is a nighttime tournament. What we're going to be using is some 
Shad Guts from, you guessed it, shadguts.com. You can also find them on Facebook. Uh, these are Shad Guts from Mature Gizzard Shad. A uh, great bait, you already know that. Deadly, especially here for channel cats, but also good for blues as well. And then I'm using some three to six inch thread fin shad, uh, freshly caught and then frozen yesterday. So we're gonna, by the time we get out there and start fishing here in about an hour or so, this hopefully will have a, a dent in it. If not, I'll stick it in some of this nice 74 degree water here on Mosquito Creek Lake. And uh, the same thing, put a little warmer water inside this uh, container, get the shad guts thawed out a little bit. But this is what we're gonna be running 99% of the time from shadguts.com. When you're struggling with bait, when you can't find it, you can always go to shagas.com. They've got it in stock. They can ship it overnight, get it, get it to you when you need it, or they can meet you at a tournament here on the Northern Ohio Catfish Tournament Trail. Shadguts.com, we carry shad guts, shad whole, whole shad, shad fillets, shad chunks, and we ship all over the country. FedEx, two days with ice packs, insulated containers. They're available year round. Um, check my website out, shadguts.com, and I guarantee you'll see some big fish tonight. All right, so we're on our very first drift. You can see we're in uh, a little over 13 feet, what the water temp is and what our drift speed is. We're using two 46-inch uh, Cabela's Pro Drift Socks to slow us down. We've got about an 8 to 10 mile an hour wind, and it's uh, probably a little bit better than that. You know, you know what the weatherman says. You know, I think it's probably about 15, but. Uh, it's moving the boat with two drift socks sideways at uh, 0.5 as you can see And we've got our small chunks of shad out our shad gut was still a little bit frozen So we're starting off the first drift with just cut shad uh, I cut kind of small because it was a front and I'm thinking downsize the baits so uh, We are starting to go over some fish. We started up in uh, six seven feet and nothing was going on. We weren't marking anything, but as we've gotten into 11, 12, and now 13 feet, uh, starting to mark a lot more. So we let our lines out about anywhere from 100 to 200 feet, uh, and we're dragging the uh, the Santee drift rigs. So uh, hopefully we'll be uh, coming into these fish uh, shortly. You can see we've got little glow sticks. Uh, there's actually bells on there too. Uh, so. We've got one here in the back. I know for you it's just uh, darkness, but uh, those lights you see are the causeway on Mosquito Creek Lake. And uh, it's not officially, uh, you know, all the way dark. As you can see, there's still some glow in the sky. But, but we're out here, we got everything in. We've got our uh, cold weather suits on. You can't really see Samantha. So let me do something about that. So, so now you can. You know, if I blind her, you can see her. So, uh, so we're out here. We're again. We're drifting sideways. We've got the we've got the uh, the rods out. We've got the drift socks out. I know you're not gonna be able to see those well, but there's the float for the drift sock. Uh, again, they're 46 inch. They're slowing us down to 0.5, and we're waiting on that very first channel cat. So uh, hopefully we'll get lucky, and we'll see you guys here shortly. You got one going, Samantha? So we got to watch for this drift socks. You might want to stand up and, and hold the rod out to the front of the boat because we got that drift sock up there. You got to get him to come around that drift sock. Wow, he's really... There he goes. There he is. Yeah, let me reach back here and get a uh, net for us. Okay. Let's see here. You got to get one cut then. All right, fish number one. All right, nice job. Wait. What do you think? He's cute. <laughs> yeah, blind you with the light. Cool. Well, we'll get him out of the net, get it in the live well. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, legal. They just got to be 16 inches minimum, and this one definitely is. So, this came on a shad gut. You know, probably goes uh, three pounds, three and a half, four pounds, something like that. So, we'll get this in the live well and. Uh, Get it back out there. This was, uh, by the way, 125 feet out. I think you got a good one going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here's another. Oh, bigger fish. Look at that, nice. Nice. Ooh, a really good channel. That's a big one. Wow. 
This was probably about 10 pounds. Good job, man. Wow. Good job. This is number two. Yeah. And uh, 15 feet has been pretty hot for us. Nice. All right, so uh, set that down for a second. You can see it was a shag gut. We'll shine a light on that. Let me try to see what the weight is. Uh, let me see the scale. What is that? Looks like uh, about eight pounds. About eight pounds. That's that's fine with me. All right, we'll get this out of the way, and we will uh, put this in the lab well. I'll just lift this up. Get this rod out of the way. And we just, Samantha just cut the other one. You can see the other fish in there. And you can tell this is considerably bigger. Woo! Yeah, you can see the difference in the two. That's a lot bigger fish. Fast you can. There you go. Boy, every time we put one in a live well, we get another one. Fast, 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 fast. Okay. Good job. I'm going to reach over here and get rid of that clicker for you. This thing can be a little bit maddening. Oh, took it the wrong way. Go ahead. All right. Fast, 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 fast. Still there? Yeah. Maybe we got to watch out for the drift socks. Yeah. Getting closer. Oh, it, oh, it's heading up to the front of the boat. Okay, stop. Let's take a look at that line. I got to try to see it. All right, it's over this. So you got to come all the way up front. Come okay, all the way up front, short, so. and then reel, 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 reel. I'm gonna grab the net. Let's go back here to the net. I'll grab it. We still got a rod out of the water from the last fish. That nice fish. We haven't had a chance to put it back in. This is probably another good fish. Fast, 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 fast. Okay, hold on. Can't tell if it's over this line or not. So just reel, 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 reel. Fast, 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 fast. Coming towards the boat. Fast, 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 fast. He's almost here. Straight down. There it is. Keep going. Almost there. Oh, another good fish. Stop, stop. Another big fish. Wow, he's huge. Yeah, this one's... Hold on. We got a mess. Yeah. All right. Daddy's got to uh, unsnag this, and we'll be back in a second. <laughs> All right, so Samantha just got this one in. We had a little bit of tangle. Uh, still got rods we haven't got to put back in. As soon as we hit this 15 foot, we start getting all these bites. This is another eight pounder or so. We'll put this in a live well. And uh, we might be able to actually, yeah, that one was a male. That looks bigger than eight pounds, but maybe it is. Maybe I was just, uh, as you can see, we got three, our limit is six. And uh, it goes by length, so we can only have two that are 28 inches or longer. So we'll have to measure those two for length. But uh, you know that one could be 28 inches. But uh, we'll have to take a look and see. But so far, so good. Maybe fish number four. Maybe. It's got a real fast, 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 fast. fast. Yeah, I realize it's a little bit on the dark side, but this is an all-night tournament, so. Ooh, yeah. Fast, 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 fast. So it's, it's close. It's almost right under there. Uh, right there. All right, I'll get the net. Oh, it don't sound like a baby. It's just probably not as big as the monsters you've been getting lately. Closer, 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 closer. Up, higher. Okay. All right, quit reeling. Okay, grab this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. It's on. It's recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number four. Well, it takes teamwork here. So you can start <laughs> filming, and I'll get this thing out. Is it recording? Yep, it's recording. 
And uh, two of them might be that 28 inches, I don't know. And two of them aren't. So I know we're safe so far. We're gonna have to measure that one. I'm sure that one's probably 28. But uh, this one right here, upon further review, probably isn't. I think this one is, and that one isn't. So, so far so good. I got a, you know, I knew that, uh, I knew this was not gonna be a weight kind of thing. I knew we had to know the, the lengths. And I didn't bring a yardstick or anything. So what I think I'm gonna try to do, I've got one on top of my cooler. I've got some tape. So I think I'm going to measure out the 20 inches that the cooler gives me, and I've got a piece of tape. I'll mark that. And I think i got a second piece, I'm hoping. And then I'll add the 8, so I'll know 28 inches, and then I'll go a little bit less just to be safe. But uh, we're going to come up with something. But then I'll get this one back out in the water, and two to go, and then we can start culling a little bit. And the uh, thing about these channel casts, oh, nice. There we go. You know, again, we're allowed to have uh, six fish, and only two of them can be 28 inches or more. So, not being prepared, this is a male, not being prepared, I didn't bring something for length, but the... Uh, my cooler has got the length, and I was able to put together some string that uh, now shows us what 28 inches is. So that's pretty cool. Top lip, got it out. And this one's probably going to go, I'm guessing, three or four. If I can see the scale. All right, so it's this is like four and a half, five, something like that. But this is fish number five. And the good thing about fish number five is that it means we only got one to go to get to six. And plenty of time to do it. And we've got, yeah, you probably don't remember, but we caught, I say we, <laughs> Samantha caught a, uh, it was the, the second fish, and it was a bigger fish. We measured it 27 and a half inches. Now that's what you want for everything that's not the 28 or, or higher. You want them right up to, you know, to, so we got, uh, it's almost midnight. But one more minute, and it'll be midnight. So five of our fish have come before midnight. And we got two that are uh, good. Two that are good fish. Uh, so what we need is, obviously, to get that last, that number six, and then start culling, getting a little bit bigger ones to replace it as the night goes on. So we'll get some fresh shad guts from shadguts.com back out there on the water, and that's where all the fish have come on. Every last one of them. So, we need to get some more of that back out in the water. I got a feeling that there's at least one more fish out there for us. Woo! Yeah, nice fish. And this is six of six, so now we can start culling. So the score is Samantha four, dad two. <laughs> okay, but that's all right. That's all right. That's a fat one though. That ought to have some good weight on it. Well, let me get this out and then you guys can watch him go in the live well. Look at the belly on this one. This is fish number six of six and uh, about eight pounds or so. Uh, we'll put this in there and it's just under the 28 inches. So. That's two that we've got that are just under the 28, and then we've got the one big male 
I say big, maybe he's nine pounds or 10 pounds, but real skinny from close spawn. But uh, that's one, two, that's two that's just under the 28, and then one that's definitely over. And we got three smaller ones that we're ready to start swapping out now. So, and now that I'm looking, really it's two small ones. I think the rest of them are seven, eight pounds and up. So, looking good for the, for the uh, daddy daughter teams. Well, there you have it, Mosquito Lake. We're out there, our first tournament together, and end up with third place. 43 pounds plus some ounces, whatever. Six channel cats, uh, strictly j uh, drift fishing using that Santee Cooper rig. What'd you think of your first tournament with the old, with the old guy? <laughs> it was great. Very cold though. Very cold. Big cold front came through. Uh, it was 90 something degrees, 95, 97 uh, the day before the tournament. And last night the low was 48 degrees. Woo! You know, so obviously we we're chipping ice off of each other and stuff, but got the fish, fun time. I tell you what, Mosquito Lake has got not only some monster flatheads, there was one even weighed in today with these conditions, but it also has some great channel cats and an awesome crappie fishery. There's walleye in here. I mean, a little bit of everything, but a fantastic crappie fishery, fantastic channel cats, and unbelievable DNR predicting state record flathead fishery. So for Catfish in America, I'm Captain Don Sweet, and we'll see you next time out on the water chasing them whiskers. Tennessee River, the Mississippi mud. No other place did I wish I was. Oh, high river or Barkley Lake. The rest of the world's gonna have to wait for I'm catfishing America. It just don't get better than this. I'm catfishing America. Cause I was born to fish I'm catfishing America You just don't get better than this I'm catfishing America You just don't get better than this